Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do, or like this week, I'm gonna do kind of like a college slash just week in my life. It is my second week of full-time school. I have a lot to update you guys on. The first week was a little bit of an adjustment. I wouldn't say it was a challenge. I just am not used to spending like five hours a day on school, obviously. So it takes up a lot more time than I'm used to and I kind of have to really schedule what I wanna do. Sorry if you hear the stupid fire alarm go off. It's so annoying. It randomly goes off throughout the day. Anyways, so yeah, I did my first week of school. I did pretty well on all of my assignments. I got like a 24 out of 25 on a quiz and like, I don't know, I got good grades on everything so far, which obviously like the first week it's pretty straightforward, easy stuff. But I feel like I'm really new to all this stuff. It's been so long since I was in actual classes. My biggest struggle is definitely my English class because I'm just not used to having to write things out that are like, being graded. So that's been a real struggle, but also a struggle. I'm running out of storage. So one second. Okay, we're back in business. Um, I forget what I was saying. Oh my God, the stupid fire alarms. You guys, it is so annoying. Maintenance here sent out an email like literally a month ago. They were like, hey, we have to come into every unit to like replace the fire alarms or whatever. And then they randomly just sent out an email and they were like, yeah, we're not coming anymore. It's like, well, now my fire alarm needs to be replaced and nobody is coming to replace it. Yesterday, I didn't vlog that much. I'm gonna try and start my vlogs off every Monday through Sunday, but the reason why I didn't vlog yesterday was because literally all I do normally on Mondays is clean the apartment. Like I do like a deep clean every Monday. Crazy how I did a deep clean and there's so many dishes to be done, but I'm gonna, let, I'm gonna leave that to Fab. That's like his job. Yeah, yesterday I did do a deep clean, so I didn't really vlog too much. I just made Fab and I some bomb pasta i did like a cajun shrimp creamy pasta with some seasoned salmon on top that you just like break off and have with the pasta like oh my god it was so good chef's kiss you guys it was amazing i really this morning want to show you guys a sephora haul because i've been going to sephora a little bit recently and i have like Quite a few things that I purchased over this past weekend that I really want to show you guys because I really want to start using them. So once I can show you guys, then I can like put them all away and start using them and stuff. So I want to do that this morning. I need a coffee and then I mostly just have to do some school related stuff until around four. At four, I have an eyelash appointment. So that should be exciting. I can't wait to get some eyelashes put back on my eyes gonna make my life so much easier with school and stuff just not having to like when I do get ready it'll take me like half the time that it normally did I used to be the eyelash queen I was getting eyelash extensions my eyelash extensions touched up like every single week practically because I was so obsessed with it so I'm not gonna get back to that extreme of a level but I am gonna get some eyelashes put on to make my life a lot easier and make me feel a lot better about myself <laughs> okay let's make coffee first and then Drink that, be on the computer, and then we'll do the Sephora haul, which I am so excited about because I got so many good things. Also, I got this giant candle. When did I get this? I think I literally got it on Friday, and do you guys see how much I've already burned of it? Because I just always have it going. I got it at TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. Midnight Breeze, you guys, this candle smells so good. It's like the perfect fall, but also like winter scent. It's like a mix between like pumpkin scent and like Christmas scent. I don't know how else to describe it. I'm so bad at describing scents, but if you get it from Home Goods and you like smell it, you'll know exactly what I mean. You guys are definitely going to see this throughout the vlog of this week and for a long time, unfortunately. But um, if you look at my pinky, like a couple weeks ago, I shut my pinky in a car door by accident. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little tipsy and my finger got stuck in the door. Honestly, I'm glad I was drunk though because I couldn't really feel it as much. But yeah, I got my nails done and you can clearly see it. I'm not gonna try and hide it because then it just will look even worse. That's what my nail tech was telling me and he said it could take up to a year to grow out because you guys see how like freaking bruised and hideous that is. My nails are so pretty though. He did such a good job. It's a bruise and it ain't going nowhere, unfortunately. I'm so sad about it because it's so ugly, but at least the rest of my nails are cute. So why is my camera not focusing? Stupid camera.
These glasses are from Amazon. As always, I'll leave these linked down below just because you guys ask always. Every time I use them or post on Instagram, everyone's like, where are those glasses from? So Amazon, they're technically for beer, but they look really cute for coffee and matcha, anything else. Lately, I have been using the Starbucks almond milk latte just because it was all that was at my grocery store and it's honestly pretty good. It's not bad. I think I like the just like regular blonde roast more, but can't complain. I don't add anything else to it. I just do that and I'm out. Normally I would fill it up more, but I ran out again. Sorry, I'll shut my fridge. I know you guys get mad about that. Then I always use a glass straw, which you guys also always ask questions about. Again, Amazon. And yeah, I don't really add any creamer or anything. I just have it like it is, and it's good to me. Like, I don't know, I swear it just looks, and it, the experience is so much better when you drink it out of one of these glasses. It just changes everything. So I always have to have my coffee in one of these. If not, it just, it doesn't feel the same. But anyways, I'm gonna set this down right here. This is my designated school seat. everything that I got from Sephora. I just figured I'd do it this way instead of me like showing my face. This is gonna be a lot quicker <laughs> to go through everything that I got because I feel like I got a lot of stuff, but now that I'm looking at it, this doesn't even look like that many things. Um, first thing, this was a sample. It's just a little Dior serum. I don't know, I have like so many points. She was like, you might as well use some of them. So for points, I got the Dior serum this way. What is this, a body cleanser? And then a little mini Versace perfume, which I actually love the mini perfumes. I think that they're so cute. It's like the big bottle of perfume, just in mini version, so love it. For lip balms, I got the Laneige. This I'm so excited about. I actually smelt this already. It smells so familiar to me, but I can't pinpoint what it smells like. It's supposed to smell like gummy bear. I think this is a new um, scent for them, but it doesn't really smell like gummy bear to me. It just smells like something from my childhood that is like so strangely familiar. So I got that. This I've heard so many good things about the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. They have really cute packaging on all their stuff. So excited to try this one as well. I just have been obsessed with like lip balms recently and trying out new ones. So got both of those. This is my all time favorite powder. I, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you would know I used this a long time ago and I put a ton of you guys on. I already swatched it, so it's a little messed up. Let's see if it'll focus. It's just the most beautiful finishing face powder ever. It literally makes it look like you have a filter on your skin and it makes your skin so glowy. So this is the Hourglass powder in luminous light. That's key, you guys, is getting the luminous light one. If you have like fair to medium skin tone like me, get the luminous light one. It will literally make your skin glow, make it look like it's glowing from within. I put this all over my face just as like a finishing face powder and it's so good. I love Hourglass. This right here, I've never tried anything from Dior besides their foundation, so I want to try out this Lip Glow Oil. It smells kind of minty. It's in the shade just pink, so very basic shade name, but Dior has like the most beautiful packaging on their lip products, and I feel like that's something they're so known for in Dior Beauty, so I wanted to try out something. So I'll let you guys know if I like this lip oil. I don't think I've ever used a lip oil before, so should be interesting. And then I'm trying to grow my perfume collection, so I picked up two new perfumes. I got this one one day, and then like I got addicted to buying perfumes. Then I went back and bought another one. This one, so my all-time favorite scent of all time, little background for you guys, is Dior. I mean, is um YSL Black Opium. So I was going in. I wasn't sure if I wanted to just get a new thing of Black Opium or what, but she ended up convincing me. The woman working at Sephora told me to get the 
black opium neon so it's like a different variation of black opium it's a little bit more i would say it it smells like a little bit more sweets like a more candy kind of vibe to it is the best way i would describe it it smells different than the original black opium but not too different so i really love this one and it's just a good classic scent i know so many people love black opium it's one of my favorites of all time i just think it's so good and it's something that a lot of people really like so highly recommend black opium and black opium neon and then i didn't know that this was super popular but a lot of you guys were telling me that it's one of your favorites as well when i posted it on instagram this is burberry her i love the packaging it's just so simplistic and pretty and it's just like such high quality this one kind of gives me in a weird way like i don't want to say this and then have people be turned off by it but it kind of gives me a abercrombie scent like you know when you used to walk into abercrombie and it had like that very specific scent it kind of gives me that type of vibe but obviously on a much more luxury um elevated more mature level so it's like abercrombie but for like a mature girl <laughs> that's the best way i would describe it but again i'll link these down below on sephora's website that's where i got all the stuff is sephora and i'll link them on sephora's website because i know that they do a much better job than me at describing what these smell like but highly recommend both of them i can't believe i'm saying this but i think i like the burberry her more than black opium which black opium has been like my signature scent for like five years so yeah the next one that i want to get for perfumes is called oh my god what is it called rihanna wears it killian is the brand but it's so expensive you guys so for like these bottles these are the biggest size that they have in sephora for both of them this one was 115 this one was 120 that's expensive as fuck, but just to put it into perspective, the Killian perfumes that I've heard so many good things about, people say it's like the best scents ever, they're $240 for a bottle. So, so stupid expensive, but I really want that one next to grow my perfume collection. And then I almost just forgot, I just realized I never even showed, I got the Tom Ford Shimmering Body Oil. This was just kind of like on a whim, I decided to get this as well, but I think it is so so pretty i can't wait to use this and see how it looks on my skin i feel like it'll just give like my collarbones and like my chest area when i wear like more low cut tops just such a nice glow i love getting ready for like date nights and stuff so i'm so excited to use all of this stuff very soon i'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod really quickly so that way we can go through this whole <laughs> revolve haul again i've had this stuff for so long and i keep saying like i need to film a haul i need to film a haul i need to film a haul and then i just didn't excuse my messy bed i'm washing the sheets in the comforter so that's why there's like you know nothing on the bed and it looks weird this is the giant box from revolve <laughs> they sent me so much stuff i got to pick it out though so like i know what's in here but I've already worn some of it because it's just so cute. I couldn't wait, you guys. Okay, I'm so excited. I haven't done a haul in so long. It's not going to be try-on, but you guys will see these pieces on my Instagram. I already posted an Instagram picture wearing some of this stuff. And then just like in vlogs and on my Instagram in general going forward, I'm going to be wearing all this stuff so much because I already tried everything on and everything fits so well all right you guys are gonna die because all these pieces are so cute okay first thing up this i wore in an instagram picture this is the perfect fall transitional sweater this is by the brand privacy please it's just this little mock neck turtleneck is there something on my lens anyways this is like the best fall transition sweater it's so comfortable and stretchy it's just like a little cropped mock neck you guys already saw this again like i said on my instagram but so good what is this okay this i already wore as well i posted an instagram story in this if you guys saw it over the weekend it's kind of hard to show but it's just a black blazer i wore it open you could also button it up let me see if it'll fit over this sweater barely <laughs> but this is such well okay obviously if i would wear it to like actually out i would just wear like a thin tank top underneath like i did last time but this is such a good blazer it has a little belt to it like i said you could close it as well you can kind of wear it almost making it look like it's a dress so many possibilities i love it this is by super down which i really like super down it's just a little 
shirts let's see i love shirts like this that you can wear to dinner or you can make it more casual with sweatpants just a good thing to have in your closet it has a little cutout right here kind of by like the collarbone area which i think is super flattering and i love snakeskin and again this has like a little mock neck this would look so cute with some high-waisted black denim and some heels okay this is another hard piece to show on camera this is just something so good to have in your closet it's a sweater dress but it belts in the middle <laughs> i'm now realizing i should have just tried all this stuff on but it's it's too late i have my period today today is day one of my period so i'm not about to try on all this stuff i'm sorry you guys okay i'm really sorry but it's a black sweater dress. Maybe I'll insert like a picture of it on Revolve site and it just kind of like ties in the middle. Love this. I think a lot of you guys are really gonna like this. Lovers and friends. I got everything also in this video in a size medium. So you guys know everything was a medium and everything fits really well. So medium girl, ride or die. Here's this top. I love this green tie-dye. I feel like it looks really good on blonde hair and then also brunettes as well. It would look really nice. Just ties in the middle already tied up for you. It looks so cute with some jeans or some sweats and some sneakers. Once I find a style that I like, I stick to it and I just buy different variations of that type of outfit. Okay, I really think you guys are gonna like this. This is, I think this is super down as well. Yeah, I probably could have gotten this in a small just because it is a little bit oversized, but obviously I don't mind that. I love, 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 love the blue tie-dye, just a little cropped sweater. You guys, again, you'll be seeing me wear this in vlogs so much just because it's comfortable, good thing to wear around the house or when I'm doing school. Here's another little cropped sweater. Love this one for the fall. Kind of looks like a boy's shirt from Abercrombie. <laughs> this one really needs to be ironed, so keep that in mind, but it's a bodysuit. And let's see. It like ruches over in the front and it kind of gives the illusion that you're wearing like a little t-shirt tucked into your jeans, but in reality, it's a bodysuit. And I really like um, tops and dresses like this that are kind of like draped over and ruching and all that kind of stuff very flattering love this one a little bit more of a preppy vibe this is by lovers and friends just a little you know cream nude-ish sweater i don't own many like sweaters for the fall season so i thought this would be a good one to have wear this with jeans and you got yourself a good fit now i have three pairs of pants <sighs> These are not going to be everyone's taste, but I think that these with just like a big t-shirt and some sneakers is such a vibe. So they're leather leggings. What are these by? LPA. The reason why I really like these, I owned leather leggings in the past and they were, they were by like a popular brand. I think I got them on Princess Polly, but every time I walked, they made a squeaky noise and it was so uncomfortable because my legs would kind of like touch each other and then they would squeak really loud and it was kind of embarrassing. So I never ended up wearing them out. But these ones don't do the squeakiness when like they rub against each other. They look really small, but I swear they stretch out. There's like, a little ring um, zipper in the front. Uh, okay, these pants, I need to wear these this week on a date night. These are so good, okay? These are like the cutest pants ever. I know not everyone's gonna love them. Look at the pattern. I know it's a lot, but the style of them is so flattering. It's more of like a straight leg I posted these when I tried them on in an Instagram story as well And they kind of just go straight leg down They make your legs look really really good and they are so soft So they look like they're leather when you guys are seeing them on camera, but they're in person They're like a very like suede almost material these are my new favorite pants they're so fancy my fancy pants <laughs> i'm looking in the mirror over here i'm like mm, i need to wear these they like cinch in perfectly at the waist they're just so good you guys i'm pretty sure these are like the most expensive thing that i picked out so good they're by the brand hours it's like h colon hours so it's like hours I'll link them down below. Okay, and the very last clothing piece that I got from Revolve is a pair of denim. I've been loving like straight leg denim to go with sneakers because I've really been into sneakers recently and I feel like skinny jeans don't look as good with sneakers as straight leg denim does. So I got a pair from Super Down. I haven't worn these yet, but just like a good you know basic pair of denim to have with a bunch of rips on them super cute and i like super down on revolve because it's a little bit more affordable of it's a little bit 
It's one of their brands that's more affordable, is what I was trying to say. And just so you guys know, I got these in a size 29. I'm normally a 28 or 29 in denim, depending on who makes it. And then I got two more things from Revolve. One of them I've been using a lot, which you guys will see when I go get my eyelashes done, because I'll wear it then. But I got two masks. They're by two different brands, but they feel really similar. This one, the one that I've been wearing is by Girlfriends. This one is by Lovers and Friends. I like these because they're very thin. They're double lines, but as you can see, they're like really thin. So you're not feeling like you have like a super heavy mask on. Let me see. I haven't tried this one on yet. Oh my God, it's so cute. Freaking love this one. The other one that I have is like a black and white cheetah. We love a cute mask. Okay, that is officially everything for all of my hauls of the day. I am not gonna go shopping for at least a little while, so you guys will be spared from all the hauls, but I'll have everything that I showed linked down below if you're interested. And definitely make sure to keep an eye out on Instagram so that way you guys can see me wearing the pieces and just keep up with me over there as well, which I will have my Instagram linked down below. It's just Molly Bales. Yeah, I guess I'll just talk to you guys when we go to the eyelash appointment. Okay, hi, I'm about to leave. I'm gonna go get some cash, that way I have that for a tip, and then I also wanna get something to eat because I'm hungry and I don't feel like cooking. The cramps are just too much right now. I wanted to show you guys though that I did change into this little Revolve top. I, again, in this one, I probably could have gotten a small as well. I like the way it's oversized though, so I don't really mind it, but you know, if you're in between sizes, I would size down just cause it is a little bit oversized, but that's also, you know, part of the look of it. But I changed into this just because it is super comfortable and it just feels like you're wearing like your boyfriend's shirt, but it's cropped, so it's cuter. These pants that I always wear, sorry about my mirror, I try and clean it, but then you end up just seeing the streaks in it. <laughs> These pants are from Misguided. They're like one of my favorites sweatpants because they're just really comfy and then I just have on uh, some Air Maxes. Also if my lips look extra glossy I put on that Dior lip oil. It's more so like the consistency of a gloss. I was expecting it to be more so like an oil because it's called a lip oil but it's more so like a lip gloss and I love the way it looks. Do you guys see how like glossy my lips look? I love it and it gives just like the right amount of color to your lips. It's not like too much. Perfect for like everyday wear but also you could easily put it on top before you go out with like a different lip color. And I don't even think I've shown on a vlog but I did get my second hole in my ear pierced. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. I got my second hole pierced and I really want to get my third hole and my cartilage pierced as well. I'm in my car now. What was I going to do? I wanted to show you guys my mask before I went inside because it's so cute. This is the other one that I got from Revolve. This is by the Girlfriends brand and I love this one. I'm not going to put it like fully on yet, but how cute is this? I've been wearing it like every day because it's black and white so it goes with everything. And like I said, they're pretty thin so they're just really comfortable to wear for like going to the grocery store, maybe even going to the gym. I like can't wear a thick cotton mask in the gym because it just like you breathe it in and it makes it so much harder. I understand why we have to wear them, obviously. I'm not like against masks by any means, but there just are different types of masks that you have to wear for different activities. This is like a really cute one. My car smells so bad and I don't know why. There's literally nothing in it. Fab took out the trash yesterday and I feel like that has something to do with it. What did he do? We like take the trash out by just putting it in like the backseat of my car and driving it over. That's what like everyone does where I live because the trash is so far away from um, all of the apartments. So you like have to drive it over, especially if it's like a little bit heavy. So I don't know if something leaked out, but I need to get new air fresheners because these are not working anymore and my car smells really bad. Anyways, I just thought I would say hey. I didn't get anything to eat because I went to, I was like, oh, I'll just go to Starbucks. I go to Starbucks and it says like in their windows and in the drive-thru, they're like, we're closed um, today at two due to staffing issues. So my stomach is just like growling, but hopefully I make it out alive. I really like this shirt too. It's so comfortable. Okay guys. Oh, sorry. The radio's on. <laughs> Excuse the fact that my makeup probably wore off from wearing a mask for that long. And then also like, obviously she was touching my forehead for a while. Here are 
my new lashes. I'm so happy with them. I feel so weird right now. Obviously when I went in there and I was last talking to you guys, I it was light out and now I like opened my eyes for the first time in two hours and it's dark. So yeah, my makeup is like all smudged, but they look so freaking good. They look so good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go because I am so freaking hungry. A little while later, I got home and instead of eating out or like ordering takeout or anything like that, I made myself a steak salad and it looks really good. In here is chopped romaine, feta, um, balsamic vinaigrette. There's so many things in here. Balsamic vinaigrette, avocado, corn, black beans, steak. These are like little onion strings on top. Cherry tomatoes. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's everything. Did I say red onion too? There's so much going on in this, but I'm so excited to finally eat because it looks so, so good. I'm not sure if this is gonna convey on camera that well, but it is so foggy out and this has been happening so much recently, you guys, where it just gets so foggy out it's like kind of scary the other day fab and i woke up and it literally felt like we were in a cloud it was so foggy but i wanted to show it but i just feel like on camera it doesn't do it justice of like actually how creepy it looks in real life one of my biggest insecurities is my eyes and like my under eye bags so i like having the extensions because i feel like it kind of defers a little bit from my insecurities. I'm super happy with the extensions though. I'm gonna leave the girl who did them down below. And if you guys are around the area that her office or what would you call it? Her, I don't know, her place is in, definitely hit her up. But I still have some school stuff that I have to do. It's not really much. I just have to like comment in an icebreaker. Um, discussion post for one of my classes which is so easy i just have to make sure that i do it before the end of the day so i'm gonna take a shower now and then work on school stuff probably from bed because i am really tired hi guys it is the next day last night i just did some schoolwork in bed next to fab because i was so exhausted for some reason from the day i don't know what i did yesterday that made me tired because i really didn't do anything, but I was tired for some reason. So I just did the little bit of schoolwork that I had to do in bed and then we're on to the next day. Today has been kind of weird because super annoying. I had an apartment tour scheduled for 11. Basically at like 10.30 they emailed me and were like, hey, we're not gonna be in the office, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, can I come in like later? They were like, yeah, you can come in around 2.15, the latest. And they told me that I just have to wait for them to email me. And then once they email me, I can like make my way over there. But I'm like, okay, that's low key fine because it's not that far from my place now, but it's still annoying because I'm just like waiting around for them to email me. Like I don't know what to do with my day until I hear from them, but I did do my makeup. I don't know, I feel like when I'm looking at it in the camera, it might look a little bit splotchy. I did it really quick, but I wanted to show you guys maybe like a better view of what my eyelashes look like. I love them so much. I forgot how easy it is to do makeup when and you have eyelash extensions. I literally just hate putting on mascara and eyeliner, so to have the eyelash extensions back, it just makes me so much happier to get ready and do my makeup, because I literally just hated doing my makeup because of mascara. So eyelash extensions solve that problem, and I just feel like they make me look a lot more put together. I don't know. I wanted to shower last night so badly because I love a good night shower, like right before I get into bed, all nice and clean. That is like my favorite thing, but I couldn't because I forgot that you're not supposed to get them wet for like 24 hours after you get them done. So my hair is a little bit greasy. Okay, I'm actually gonna do the sheets today, so ignore the bed. <laughs> I said I was gonna do them yesterday and then I just got too tired. So tonight we will do it. I hate when the lighting looks like this. If you own cats, then you know you have to like finagle these into the blinds so that way they don't play with them at like 3 a.m. and wake you up. Okay, I feel like this angle is better. The lighting isn't the best, but I feel like it's a little bit better in here than it was in the bedroom because of all the streaks on the mirror. I need to fix that too. I need to make a mental note. But here's my outfit very quick. This is from Revolve. I showed this to you guys yesterday in the little haul. And then this little tank top underneath. These are amazing, you guys. Um, the only thing I don't like is that I, when I wear a bra, you can like see it even when I do the crisscross. But anyways, I love the material of them and you don't really have to wear a bra if you don't want to. It's just more comfortable to me, but 
up to you but it's from free people i believe they were like 30 bucks a piece i have two of them and i love them so much just to wear by themselves or underneath things they're perfect and then i'm wearing the same sweatpants that i wore yesterday because lazy it is a comfort and a laziness all the way for the next couple of days and then once i get back from my apartment tour which hopefully i can take you guys along to um it's all school for the rest of the night because i think tomorrow night fab and i are gonna go out on a date i don't know i'm kind of feeling like going on a date in the city or something for tacos because i literally crave tacos like every day of my life but yeah that means that today i need to get as much schoolwork done as possible i need to study for a quiz and just like make flashcards, take notes i love taking notes but i'm crossing my fingers that i just like the vibe of the place and everything because it's exactly what i want and need for like the next two years so we'll see <laughs> Hi, can I have a grande iced chai with a shot of espresso and then the pumpkin cream cold foam on top? Grande iced chai with a shot of espresso and pumpkin cream cold foam on top? Yes, please. Want some anything else? That's it. It's going to be 679. Thank you. It's weird. It's windy out right now, but it's also so hot. Like, it's 73 degrees out. I literally don't think I remember a time ever when it was 73 degrees in Massachusetts in like the end of October. Like we're practically at Christmas now. How is it 73 degrees out? I'm gonna go because my car, the way it's set up, it's like so obvious that I'm recording myself. And I just, I come to the Starbucks too much to go through any awkward situations. So I'll show you guys my drink when I get it, but it's the, um, what do I get? An iced chai iced grande chai with one shot of espresso and then the pumpkin cream cold foam on top and it's so good but just trust me if you like fall drinks you will love this it's so good shout out to tiktok for showing me hi everyone so it's a little while later actually a lot later i haven't been good about vlogging today because i've just been having a little bit of a rough day just like feeling a little bit overwhelmed about everything that I feel like I have to do within the next couple of months and just not being sure about where I want to live is weighing on me which I do realize that I just said in this vlog like oh yeah I think like I'm gonna go tour an apartment or like I'm gonna go tour an apartment I never really talked to you guys about like why or what I plan on doing or if I'm actually moving or any of that stuff I'll definitely update you guys soon on that maybe like towards the end of this vlog I just don't feel like doing it right now because I have just been talking about moving so much with Fab and my mom and everyone in my family so much i just feel like i need a break from talking about it for a little bit because once i start talking about it it overwhelms me so yeah we'll talk about it another time my face is having a little bit of like an allergic reaction i think it's from these makeup wipes that i was using i don't know but do you see how it's like kind of like all red and patchy but i have a bunch of laundry to fold right now so i think i'm going to turn on my tv honestly i really want to watch unsolved mysteries because they just added a second season to netflix where is my show that i was watching why does it oh continue watching okay unsolved mysteries if you guys are into crime tv or like crime related things like podcasts and stuff watch this
finished dinner. We just did asparagus and then this is Fab's mom's ribs and then we add like a hot buffalo sauce on top. She cooked them all for us and we just had to like put them back in the oven for a little bit. Super spicy but gonna be so good. And then on the bottom I just made some, what is it, jasmine rice? And that is our dinner. So good, asparagus is like our favorite vegetable. It has been for like the past two years. It's I know we haven't even gotten past Halloween yet, but as soon as October 31st is over, I am in full on Christmas mode and peppermint mocha is my favorite drink from Starbucks. So I'm starting a little bit early this year, but it's 2020, I have an excuse, this year sucks. So let's make it a little bit better with Christmas themed things. Christmas is my favorite time of the year. So I got the peppermint mocha. It is so good, just like I remembered. Um, I have my whole bag packed up, literally have so much stuff that it doesn't all fit in my bag. So RIP to my social life. For the next little while, I'm going to be doing a ton of schoolwork. I have to do, I'm gonna split it up, you guys. I'm only taking two classes right now, and I'm like, how am I gonna start taking three next semester? I look like an egg today, you guys. I just can't be bothered to get ready. I don't like doing schoolwork when I have makeup on, because then I just like, I don't know, it, it's pointless. I'm literally calling this vlog like a college week in my life, and I was like, I have not shown one bit of me doing schoolwork. Like, I have been doing schoolwork, you guys. I swear I have been. It's just been like little things along the way. Today is like my first of the week big study day last week i did it like every day like this but this week i just was busy doing other things like getting my eyelashes done very important <laughs> yeah i've definitely been slacking a little bit this week so we're gonna get right back into it today take a ton of notes i love taking notes but for this media and society class that i have it's really interesting because it's all about like the media obviously like the textbook references like the president's tweets and like all of these like new modern things so i enjoy like this class a lot it's just a lot of note taking i don't know all i know is that i need to get out of this apartment for a little bit so that way i can focus and kind of just feel like i'm in like a school library or something gonna head downstairs and we will start working on school and being an actual college student so good I don't really think I've ever shown my handwriting on camera before, but here's what it looks like. A lot of people say I have really like nice handwriting. I don't know. I'm kind of very like overly critical about my own handwriting because I feel like it doesn't really look that good. The weird thing about me is I hold my pencil like this or my pen like this, like I hold it like almost in a fist. But apparently my handwriting looks good so you can't rash me for it. But I wanted to tell you guys really quickly before I get started taking notes, these pens, oh my god. Yeah, so I talked about these in my favorites video that I uploaded recently as well. But, and I, I think I showed them in a school supplies haul in a vlog, but you guys, these pens are so bomb. Poppin' pens, they're a little bit more expensive, like, I forget how much it was for a pack of five or six or whatever. They're doing construction outside of my building and I don't even understand how this place is not even a year old, but anyways so highly recommend i know it's so random but i just feel like a lot of you guys out there that watch my videos either write a lot of stuff down for work or for school or whatever the case may be so i really just wanted to share that i found the best pen ever okay and now we are going to get started this was look at you guys so this was all of my notes just for chapter one <laughs> like that's all just for chapter one i got some coffee on it the other day so with that being said i have to get going i actually just purchased my book <laughs> so embarrassing is this it i waited until like the literal last minute to buy this book but i found it on etsy for 15 dollars, and they were trying to sell it on my school's website for 115 
everyone. Yes, you are very shaky right now. I don't know how to set this up. Is that better? Did I just drive by the thing? Okay, no. I am in the Starbucks drive-thru again. I cannot do multiple things at once, but I'm about to order my drink again because it's Saturday and I deserve it. Hi, thank you for choosing. What can I get started for you today? Hi, can I have a grande iced chai with one shot of espresso and then the pumpkin cream cold foam on top? Yeah, that sounds really good. It's so good. I know, I love it with vanilla and soy milk. It's Ooh, so good. That sounds good. Do, um, can I get anything else for you today? That's it. Okay, so your total will be six seventy nine at the window. Thank you. I love when people are nice, but I'm so awkward that I like, <laughs> I didn't know what to say. Um, I didn't vlog yesterday because honestly, I've been having like some rough days. Not even rough days, just like stressful days. And yeah, I didn't vlog. I was just just like moving and like all of that is just so heavily on my mind right now it's all I can think about and and like I was already stressed out about it kind of just like oh my god Molly like you need to figure out like if you want to move or if you want to stay or whatever and like my lease is up on Christmas Day <laughs> so inconvenient like literally the worst timing to have to move I don't know I, the next lease if I do move that I sign or if I stay I'm gonna sign a 16 month lease because I cannot deal with moving right around the holiday season It's just a no-go my lease ends on Christmas Day like how am I even supposed to give the keys to them? It's Christmas But anyways because of that stress like I've just been thinking so much about what I'm gonna do How I'm gonna do it what I want to do what's best for me like all of these things and a lot of people in my life Think that I should move and think that I should get a bigger split place <laughs> place <laughs> a lot of people think I should get a bigger place these are kind of annoying and I kind of agree that like I should but it's just a matter of I don't want to move to a bigger space that I'm not like oh my god this place is amazing like I don't want to move to something that I'm just kind of like eh about so I'm trying to like look and find something that I like I'm trying to move closer to the city again just that way I can like you know have more opportunities to go out with friends and do more fun things and yeah so I've just been like so stressed out about that just like thinking about Sorry, my heat was on. <laughs> Thinking about what I'm gonna do. And then today, right before I was leaving to go to this apartment tour, did I even say I'm going to tour an apartment today? Which I'm so excited because the leasing agent isn't gonna be there. I just get to walk in so I can easily show you guys. Because of COVID, they're just like having it be just like you do it yourself. But yeah, when I was leaving, I got this letter on my door that basically said I have a week to decide and tell my current apartment complex if I'm staying or not. So I literally have a week to figure it out and it's just like I have school and all these other things too on top of like my plate and it's like how am I supposed to find an apartment within the next week and decide what I'm gonna do and like make a decision like it's just a lot of stress but I don't want to transfer that stress into the vlog so we're gonna stay positive my mom was like Molly just stay positive like whatever is meant for you is going to work itself out and I was like you're so right so I'm just trying to like be stress-free as I can be and just remain positive. So yeah, I'm gonna get my drink. I will show it to you guys this time after I get it because I didn't on Tuesday. I have on my leather leggings today. They are actually so comfortable. These are from Revolve. I showed them in the haul. Again, at the beginning of this video, I feel like I'm wearing so much stuff from Revolve every single day, but it's because I'm so obsessed with their stuff it's like my favorite store there's my drink so you guys heard me say it twice now in this vlog I don't normally get it twice a week but it's been a treat yourself week so I got a iced chai with one shot of espresso just to give myself a little bit of caffeine and then I add the pumpkin cream cold foam on top so freaking bomb it's expensive though like seven dollars almost for a drink is a lot but it's really good so I highly recommend trying it at least once if you like dirty chais you will love this it's to the apartment complex it was actually a way quicker drive than I thought it was so I'm here like 20 minutes early I think I'm just gonna go in but I don't really know how to go in he basically just told me that I just go in and I'm like how I know that the apartment door to the apartment is unlocked but like how do I get into the building like isn't it locked hi okay what the hell okay so when I came here I came like 15 minutes early and I tried to come in here somebody was already in here touring so that adds like this added pressure to me and I just walked in you guys and I'm literally like yeah I need it I already sent a picture to my mom and she was like you need it I'm gonna show you guys the tour I will let you know in like the next vlog after this if I get it or not but 
I'm literally sold just by like one feature. Get ready, cause you're about to see it. There is a freaking fireplace and look at the view. Look at this view. This is so peaceful. I had to make sure that I wasn't covering the mic cause I don't want to ruin this entire tour. This is like private or like reservation land, I'm pretty sure. So like nothing would ever be built there. My God, this is so beautiful <laughs> and so peaceful. I feel like it's just so homey. Like guys, I would have a freaking fireplace and look at how high the ceilings are. Big balcony. <gasps> Oh my god, and it's so private over in this area like I could just like sit out on my balcony and have coffee Oh my god, this apartment is gonna go So freaking fast. Okay. I need to like start from the beginning and show you guys um, I had to do like a little I want to like cover most of it, but I had to do like a little um, Just like form when I came in. Okay, it's, I wanna say this is like an older apartment that they redid a lot of the finishes on. So like there's no elevator in the building, which I would have to get used to, but I would have so much more space, it's insane. So here is the front door. I like the floor color, it's very cute. And then right off the front door, there is some stairs, but we'll go up there last. This is what you see when you walk in, so you kind of get a glimpse of the little kitchen. Let's see, I'm pretty sure this is a coat closet from the YouTube video that I watched. Yes, a coat closet, lovely. Always nice to have that. And then let's go through the kitchen. So I'm pretty sure the people who were in here before me left a lot of the lights on, but I'm pretty sure this is a pantry. Oh my God, you can like walk into it. Oh my God, I literally need this apartment. Oh my God, this is gonna be so clutch because you could put like appliances down there and like make your food all cute up here. Oh my God, this is like the best thing ever. Oh my God, it's so cute. The kitchen is definitely like way smaller than I'm used to in terms of cabinet space, but I feel like I could make it work because of the fact that I have like this whole pantry. No one's ever lived in uh, this unit since they renovated it too, which is super nice. So, oh my God, you guys. Obsessed. Oh my god, look. <gasps> Such a big drawer. And it's soft clothes. Sorry if I'm yelling. I'm just like really excited. Wow. Wow, the sink is so big. And you can like look out at the view while you're doing dishes. Oh my god. I'm gonna say oh my god so many times because I'm like in shock. I wasn't expecting to like it this much, but as soon as I saw the fireplace, I there's a big fridge. This is like a huge deal to be able to have all of this space again. I hate my small fridge right now so much. There's an ice maker down there. I love it. I need it. Gas stove. This is way better than I was expecting. There's room for me to eventually have a dining room. A dining room? Sorry, I wanted to move the papers just in case it said what the place is called, but they didn't move the counter out to put bar stools right here, which is fine because I would eventually get a dining room table to go right here. Oh my God, there's literally so much space. Wow, I love this little like, what is this called? Wayne's coating? I don't know, my mom would know. Oh my God, okay, I'm gonna give you a view from like over here. I really like this setup. It's like kind of sectioned off, but open at the same time. I'm really into it. Uh-oh, the AC just came on. Oh, should we go into, so it's two bedroom, two bathroom with a loft, you guys. So um, let's see, this would be, I'm pretty positive my office slash like school room. Let's see. Oh my god, huge like linen closet. So nice. And then carpet, which I will have to deal with, but it's a big window. Oh my god, there's so much space. I was wondering like how I would configure. Wait, is this the master? I don't know. I'm gonna have to look at the other one to see which one is the master, but if this is the what I would use as my office, I was wondering like if I would have enough space to like have all of my furniture, I would have so much space. And then look at huge 
walk-in closet in here too. Two closets in here. In this one room, which would be my second room. I'm literally so obsessed. Okay, let's see. What is this? This is the bathroom. It's very small. It's definitely like way smaller. Let me see if I can turn on a light. I don't like how it's the fan. All right, so here's the bathroom. This is the first bathroom. Definitely a lot smaller, but if I'm gonna have two, it doesn't really matter. And there is a tub in this one, and I like how it has this medicine cabinet. Also, hi, here's my little outfit of the day, I guess. Um, these are the Revolve, like, pleather leggings. They have the little, you know, zipper right here. And then I'm just wearing this a big old t-shirt from Urban. And then as I showed you guys before, my little Nike Air Maxes. And that's the fit. Let's continue on with the tour though. Walk back through by the gorgeous fireplace. Stunning, she's stunning. Oh, this might be the office. Wait, is it though? This might be, the, no, this is definitely the master because you don't have access to the bathroom unless you come through here. All right, it's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller of a room. I know you guys are probably like, it looks fine, but it, I can tell it's like a little bit smaller than my bedroom now. But everything will fit in here and like, I have two bedrooms, so it doesn't really matter too much. I have way more space. Come on now, focus. So crazy, I'm giving you guys literally like an empty apartment tour. Okay, here is the other bathroom. One sink with not that much storage, but like I said, I can get past it. Because everything you need. Wow, two towel racks. I wonder why anyone would need that. <laughs> Walking out of this bedroom, or actually, let's see the closet here. Oh my God. <laughs> what? How do I turn on the light? What? What? Oh my God. <gasps> There's so much storage. I don't have enough clothes. I would have to buy more. I would have to buy more shoes. Freaking huge. Oh my God, it's like a room. You guys see how big that is? I feel like it's not portraying on camera. That closet is huge. I'm gonna run upstairs now and we will see what's going on in the loft. Okay, from what I had seen online, there was like a huge other storage room up here, which like I wouldn't even need. Very nice. I don't love how it's upstairs and like all my clothes would be downstairs. But it's not that big of a deal. Then this is a little bit loud because I think the AC or the heat is on or something right now, but this is the loft. Like I know, I would have so much space that I don't even need, but it would be nice to have something that I could like grow into. Oh my God, this would be like the most fun little chill hangout spot. And then you can look down. Stunning. Oh my god, I love it. And then this, you guys, this is the extra room. I literally think I would take, like, what? Excuse me. Like, I want to see if I can set you guys up. Do you see how much room is in here? Like, this is just a closet. They literally make this a storage closet. I could make this, oh my god. Like, I could make this my literal, like, get ready room. I could make this, like, a reading room. I'm, like, rethinking everything right now because I was not expecting to like this this much. I just love how much space I have. And I love the view, and I love the fireplace, and I love the kitchen. I don't know. I feel like I need to make it mine. This is, like, more than I need, like, way more space than I need but it would just be nice to not have all of my shit like just like, what is the word? Stuffed into my apartment. <laughs> be able to have like the space to grow and to like just do what I want. If it doesn't happen, it's not meant to be, but if it does, it's about to be lit. What are we gonna do guys? What are we gonna do? Like imagine me just like chilling up here, watching a movie. It's snowing out. If I get this place before Christmas, I can add a Christmas tree up here. Just like look out over my loft. Like this is my loft. I'm just telling myself that it's mine. Like it's mine. It's happening. Okay, I'm gonna go FaceTime people, but I'm happy that I got to show it all to you guys. Let me know what you think down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? It's like the best one that I've seen. The other apartment that I toured on Tuesday, I just did not like 
that much it was like facing train tracks so like every like hour or like 30 minutes i would hear a train go by just not ideal this wasn't ideal like this place although it's a little bit older i'm not used to like living in an older building it just feels like right like it feels like more me and it's a little bit cheaper i took off my makeup i have been working at my computer for a while now i have over here great british baking show playing of course they have weekly episodes what else would i be doing on my saturday night and i had this pizza in my fridge it's like stuffed crust or something and i was like you know what i'm just gonna have it end off the week with something unhealthy so i think what i'm gonna do is end this vlog tonight and then start up a new weekly vlog tomorrow because technically sunday is like the start of the week so it kind of makes the most sense so yeah next week will be a lot more scheduled a lot more school stuff i have school to do still tonight i'm gonna take like a bunch of notes and stuff and then tomorrow pretty much all day i'm just gonna be doing school but yeah next week i think i'm gonna do a lot more gym because i hated the fact that i didn't go to the gym once this week i have like a semi excuse but not really like i should just be going in the morning to get it over with so starting next week we are back on our healthy shit back to cooking more healthy meals at home i cooked a lot this week i didn't order takeout or eat out at all this entire week like i ate everything at home so proud of myself for that besides starbucks of course i just haven't gotten to go to the gym and i haven't been eating like the healthiest healthiest so next week we're back on our shit back on our regular scheduled programming for the most part i don't know why i'm talking like yelling over my tv like why did i not just pause it my brain is like so everywhere right now i want to eat my pizza but i also want to tell you guys just like quickly about the whole apartment thing i've been crying a lot because i'm so stressed out and i don't know what to do this is why i don't normally vlog like my moving process and everything because it is so stressful and this is why people don't move because moving is a bitch i'm trying to explain this in the best way possible so essentially that apartment that we looked at today i love it it's like so much space like i really don't need that much space at all so this place um that i'm touring from this apartment complex they have a two bedroom two bathroom without the loft and it's more expensive than the loft one is and it could, so that's that because i know people are gonna be like girl you do not need all that space yeah i know but i'm planning on hopefully being wherever i move for the next two to three years until i graduate college and then i'll buy a house because then i'll have two incomes and yeah but that's going off on another tangent basically the apartment is available right now and they want someone to rent it and like move in right now they don't want someone like me who wants to like basically reserve it for myself but then not move in for two months and not pay rent for two months because then they're basically they have like a vacant apartment that they're not making any money on so my only two options with this place is to gamble for like two months that no one is gonna take it and then i can make it mine and like reserve it which is a huge gamble because it's obviously like a really good apartment and in massachusetts i feel like apartments just go so quick I don't um see it not going if i were to like gamble it and then if i do that what do i do like how do i know that i'm gonna find somewhere else to live but then my only other option is to make it mine by, he said, November 1st. And that's like literally next week. So if I made it mine on November 1st, I would have to do so much shit like get insurance for it. I would have to set all that up. I would have to get renter's insurance. Did I already say that? I would have to pay for the security deposit. I would have to pay for the application fee. I would have to pay for that month's rent. Then I would have to pay also, since it's November 1st, I would have to pay for this place's rent. And then I would have to pay double rent again in December. My first order of business is seeing if I can get out of my lease here a month early. Cause then at least I wouldn't have to be double paying for two months. That's just like a lot of money for no reason. But at the same time, it's like, what else am I gonna do? Cause like every place I go to look at is gonna say like the same exact thing. Yeah, I don't know. You guys will find out probably within next week's week in my life what the deal is and what I'm gonna do. Cause I really, I don't know. <laughs> Little ball of stress about everything in my life so far, every day that I've lived so far, somehow everything has worked out in my favor. So I have faith that everything will happen the way it's supposed to and if I end up deciding not to get this place, then maybe just something out there is better for me. But I'm gonna eat my pizza because this shit is probably getting cold. I did a brand deal with Thrive on my other channel recently. 
and I showed this Sir Kensington's Pizza Ranch. I'm so excited to have some of this and dip my pizza into this. Comment down below if you dip your pizza in ranch. It's so good. Okay, yum! My fat meal of the week. <laughs> pizza Ranch. I added to make myself a little bit extra fancy some hot sauce because I'm me. And then Parmesan cheese and chili flakes. All right, I am about to end off this first week in my life that I've ever done. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it, but I wanted to say I am reading The Couple Next Door. I just finished up most of my notes. <laughs> I finished up a good amount tonight. I have a lot more to do for school tomorrow. Honestly, I'm getting very tired, but I'm really trying going forward to not be on my phone on TikTok or watching TV before bed because it just results in me staying up way too late. So I just thought I would mention what I'm currently reading. It's called The Couple Next Door. I started this Honestly, so long ago, it's such a small read, but I haven't gotten around to actually like taking the time to read it. So my goal for the next week is to finish this book. Hopefully I can finish it um, in one week. So I'm gonna pick up where I left off in my book and I will talk to you guys in my next video.